Good afternoon. It is the 15th of April and it's raining pretty good, but we are expecting snow overnight. So I wanted to give you a look at what's going on and what we're doing. This is why we don't put the tomatoes in before the last frost is yeah, <laughs> this is why we don't put the tomatoes in. So let me take you around and show you what's going on in the garden right now. So the herb patch is doing good. We have a bunch of thyme. We've got some parsley. We've got some sage coming up. The chives. Bronze fennel and mint are back. Yep, we'll be sowing some more Thai basil. <laughs> um, but And it looks like... Surprise chard! Yay! So all of this should be fine um, in the snow, so I'm not doing a whole lot with the herb pat. On the other hand, I've got a bunch of stuff in the ground, so let's take a look at what's going on with that. I put together the onions, you saw that before, and they are all strawed in and good to go, I'm hoping and the carrots we'll have to see what happens with the carrots we'll have to see i've got one board up because there was one very tiny sprout <laughs> and so i figured i'd let it have the air i've also got the sprouts that i'm trying to germinate in the greenhouse they may take a little while because it's it's cold um, so we'll have to see how that comes out and whether or not we get carrots this year so those peas I was talking about the other day, look at that, we're coming up, look at that, right there. So those peas, I covered them up with some straw and I'm hoping, I'm hoping good things. I also covered up some arugula and some mustard greens that are coming up uh, from last year, but I'm assuming since they wintered over they'll probably be fine. I also covered up the strawberries up to there up a little bit over their chinny chin chins just to protect them and the potatoes obs are fine they're still down there close to the soil line but yeah the strawberries are covered over I marked them with some rocks <laughs> and I'm told they should be all right so let's go see what's going on in the greenhouse oh my god guys I totally forgot to show you last time on the video you should see this beautiful fence that Bill put up let me turn the camera around so you can see it Look at this gorgeous fence that Bill put in. It goes all the way around. I've got these really cute gates. And Bill put in a wider double gate over here so that we can get the tractor in. Ah, oh, came out so good. So I would love to show you the greenhouse. Uh, we are finally out here when it's not like blazing sun and I can see what the heck is going on. So let me show you what's happening here. I'm so happy about this stuff. Let's begin with the tomatoes. I overplanted because I always overplant tomatoes. So I may be giving some sprouts away in the next few weeks. We'll have to see what's going on. Um, I was really worried about these folks because the temperature differences and we've been up and down and up and down. We had a few nights we had to take them into the basement to keep them warm, but they seem to be doing all right now. Um, so there are extras that I reseeded just in case. Got beets over here and I know, I know everybody plants them directly in the ground. I don't. Um, I'm just so much more comfortable with popping in the seedlings. Got some flowers over here. And finally, can you see this? There's one tiny wool flower coming in. One tiny wool flower. And I am so excited and so, I'm just being so careful with this thing. Uh, marigolds, cosmos couple of cauliflower, some Brussels sprouts, the spinach did not come up, um, okra in the back there, a tray of Chicago pickling, 
Some more cucumbers over here. Check it out, y'all. The peanuts have popped. We're going to try for peanuts this year. Um, here's the corn. So we have peanuts and popcorn. Uh, this is a red strawberry popcorn variety. We've got some more brassicas over here. We're going to harden them off as soon as this snowy nonsense is over. Uh, sunflowers which are just about ready to up pot again. Um, I may be saving up some of the, um, the seltzer bottles to up pot them into. And then we've got more flowers over here and some mustard greens and kale for the rabbits. I'm gonna try and see if they'll go for them instead of trying to break into my garden. Uh, we've got tomatillos and peppers, more peppers back there more peppers over here and oh no these aren't peppers these are eggplants and it looks like the Turkish orange in front here are growing a lot faster than anybody else so we're keeping an eye they do some of them do have their second leaves in um, but a lot of them are still all up in their cotyledons so we'll have to see how that goes I've got a bunch of chamomile a handful of lavender more tomatoes because I panic sowed. Waiting on the peppers that I panic sowed. Waiting on two flats of carrot sprouts. I've got them tented over here to keep them moist. These are my bush beans. The pole beans I'm going to start directly outside once it gets a little warmer. And then the squashing has begun. We got all kinds of squash going on here and I double seeded every one of these cells so looks like we'll have plenty if those come up and then another line of beans and some flowers so it's coming together out here in the greenhouse um, I'm so thrilled I've never had a chance to use a greenhouse before so this has just been so much fun. It's also been a little bit of panic because I'm like, oh my God, the temperature's diving. What are we going to do? And then we're back and forth between the basement and getting <laughs> moving flats of, of seedlings <laughs> very carefully between here and there. And I'm bottom watering. So every one of these flats is full of water. Um, so yeah, I've still got a handful of stuff that I'm going to put up in the next few days I've got some Thai basil um, and some other odds and ends that didn't make it into the last planting I've got some stuff I'm gonna up pot into gallon bags so that's coming up but we got to make it through this snowstorm tomorrow <laughs> tonight um, yeah it's not supposed to get any cooler than 37 so we should be okay to leave everybody in the greenhouse and I'm just I'm rooting for them y'all root with me root with me please and I'll see you tomorrow we'll see what it looks like in the morning Welp. it is April 16th and it is snowing and I'm a little nervous because we left everything in the greenhouse overnight. Um, the 10 day forecast looked okay. Nothing was supposed to get down below 36 degrees. And then I woke up like a shot at 5 a.m., looked at my phone and it said 32 degrees. So um, I wouldn't say I'm freaking out just yet but I'm nervous. I don't know how much heat that greenhouse holds. So, uh, I'll get out there in a little while and see what's going on. If they froze, it's, it's too late. So I'm hoping for the best. I am preparing for the possibility of catastrophe. And, uh, We'll see how everything is in a little bit. We're gonna have to watch it over the course of the day because the last time that I messed up like this, um, everything looked okay when I walked out there first thing in the morning and then little soldiers were dropping all day long. So let's, 
let's hang in. I'm going to try and be faithful and we'll see what happens. Um, probably going to lose something. I hope it's something I can replace. So we'll see. It is snowing. So I came out a little while ago and I brushed the snow off the greenhouse. So let's see what we can see. The porch thermometer shows us just above 30. Uh, so let's see what's going on in the greenhouse. Okay, so the greenhouse thermometer also has us just above 30 and I'm a little worried. And I may have the guys come help me get everything down to the basement this morning when they wake up. Um, Although it is supposed to warm up slowly, so let's think good thoughts. All right, so things that are encouraging. None of the soil froze. It's all still nice and damp. Nothing underneath froze. None of the bottom watering has ice in it, so if we're still at the liquid water stage, that's encouraging. Um, Gosh, there's just so much going on here. I'd hate to lose any of it, you know? So I think everybody's definitely going to go in for a field trip overnight to the basement. Keep them nice and warm. Um, but it's supposed to warm up a little bit over the next few hours. And everything looks okay. We're still pretty perky. There was liquid water on the plants this morning, which... Makes me feel much better about things. Little tomatoes. But yeah, they're definitely coming in tonight. Yeah, so I'm not so worried about the garden proper. We are really well tucked in over there. I put straw down around the peas. I put straw down around the onions, the radishes, the arugula that was popping back. I put some down there. And, um, fingers crossed, y'all. <laughs> I mean, the potatoes should be fine. The strawberries I strawed under. Um, so, here we go. We'll see how it goes. Um, so, may it be sunnier by you. <laughs> and thanks for hanging out. We'll catch you up soon. Take care.